Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Can you believe that Christmas is just around the corner? Maybe some of you are planning on traveling. This is a travel tips video. This is about your in-flight experience and how to make it better and how to avoid jet lag. I just want to preface this video by saying that in my humble opinion, travel helps you to become more adaptable. Travel disconnects you from the noise in your life and connects you to your true self. Travel gives you a tapestry of memories. Travel opens your heart and your mind. Travel is an investment, probably the best investment you will ever make. Travel teaches you about humanity and I think travel awakens your hidden desires. Let's get on to the tips. Now for long haul flights, you need to make sure that you're wearing very comfortable pants whether they be tights or sweatpants. I like to wear a pair of silk pants by Danang. They're just very comfortable and very stylish and I just feel right at home in those pants. I'm so comfortable. They're not restricting and they're just so comfortable against my skin. So definitely wear a pair of comfy pants. I also recommend you wear a cozy warm cardigan. I think layers is the way to go when you're traveling and you have a long flight. The air inside the cabin can get pretty cold and your temperature can change. Sometimes I feel hot so it's easy just to slip my cardigan off and other times when I'm having a nap I can put my cardigan back on and if it's long I use it also as a blanket and just curl up inside my cardigan which also has a little hoodie like a little cocoon and I just am so cozy and comfortable. It's a really good idea to wear low profile slip on shoes. You don't want to fiddle around with buckles and laces in the minimal space that you have. Your shoes will come on and off throughout the flight. Mine are mostly off. So low profile slip ons are the most comfortable and easiest to slip on and off. I always travel with my compression socks. They make such a difference to how I feel when I land at my destination. I suffer from bloating. I can get quite bloated and swelling in my feet. So wearing the compression socks stops bloating and swelling. Basically, they just make all the difference in the world. I usually put them on when I'm at the gate just before boarding and I keep them on throughout the flight. If you are like me and suffer from swelling or bloating or any discomfort in your feet, achiness, compression socks are an absolute must. Make sure you have some good reading material and you've downloaded all your favorite music onto your phone. This will not only kill time, but keep you inspired and entertained and relaxed. And I cannot imagine hours on a flight without something to read or music. Okay, so once I've boarded my flight and claimed my seat, I immediately set about getting into my comfort zone. I take out anything I might be needing for the flight, my reading material, my music, my laptop, any forms that I might need to fill out, a couple of snacks at the ready, and I just make sure I set up my little space so that I'm comfortable. I don't wait for everyone to board the flight. I don't wait for the flight attendant safety instruction. I don't wait for takeoff. I don't wait for anything. I don't pay too much attention to what's going on around me. I get into my comfort zone and zone out and this helps my anxiety when I'm traveling and also just makes the whole flight experience so much more enjoyable. I also make sure to set my watch to the current time of my destination. I like to get into the time zone and the patterns of what I will be doing once I reach my destination. So if it's breakfast time, I make sure I stay awake, I make sure I have a meal and the opposite too. If it's evening, I make sure I have something light and try and get into sleep straight away. So that when I arrive at my destination, I'm not suffering from jet lag, I've had my sleep and I'm just ready to jump into the time zone and begin my holiday rather than waste precious time zonked out in my hotel room because my body clock hasn't caught up. I also don't wear any makeup when I'm flying. I just make sure that my face is hydrated and moisturized, but it's definitely a bare face. Make sure you take a water bottle with you. Of course, you cannot carry liquids through customs or immigration, but once you're through, the airport has filtered water. You can fill up your water bottle. 
you can fill up your water bottle on the plane. It's just very handy, you don't have to keep asking the flight attendants for water and it's very important to stay hydrated on a long flight. Headphones are a must to listen to all the music that you have downloaded on your phone. I also do work on my laptop editing videos so I definitely need headphones. In my carry-on I make sure I have a clear pouch just to keep all my necessities that I'll be needing for the flight. This is also a very smart way to pack your necessities because when you go through customs they like to see what you have inside and it's pretty much all on show. I always make sure to travel with wipes and tissues for any spills just to keep your hands and face fresh or any tears. I also take an eye sleeping mask. This not only helps me to sleep by shutting out all the light and making it complete darkness, it acts as a do not disturb sign for anyone that's very chatty next to you or the flight attendants. I carry some mints for clean, fresh smelling breath. Also a toothbrush and toothpaste if your airline does not provide you with those. I like to also carry protein bars because I like to snack and usually on board the snacks are very high carb and unhealthy. Hand cream also to keep your hands nice and moisturized because they can get quite dry during flight especially if you're always washing your hands. A small travel size deodorant to keep you always feeling fresh. Lip balm again to keep my lips nice and moisturized and soft and not feeling cracked and dry. Again, on aeroplanes, the air can get really dry. It's very harsh on the skin and it's really important to keep hydrated. A small travel-sized perfume to always smell beautiful. Some eye drops also to keep those red eyes away or the dry feeling, especially if you're reading a lot. Ibuprofen, sleeping aid and any other medicine that you require, take on board. I definitely need a sleeping aid when I'm flying. I tend to get a little anxious and nervous and excited and sleeping is just very hard to come to me when I'm on the plane. So I definitely take a sleeping aid. I always carry BB cream, concealer and a small travel size mascara so that when I land, I pop into the bathroom and quickly just freshen up with these, do a small little makeup routine and I just feel a little bit more polished and pulled together. A couple of hair ties and also another thing I also carry are panty liners. I don't have any to show you but I always make sure I have panty liners on me. They just keep you fresh and it's just, anyway, non-explanatory panty liners for us girls. And that is about it. That is basically everything I take with me for my carry-on and those are my tips for my in-flight experience and to combat jet lag. Those are the tips I live by. They really work for me. I hope they work for you too. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next one.